safest and cheapest ultimate team coins anywhere check out rockbottomcoins.com and use code zirk at checkout for a 10 percent discount on your order the whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Zerks to come today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be telling you guys which draft players I think are the absolute best for in terms of their overall. So for the 95s and the 96, 97, the 90, 99s, I'm going to go through and tell you guys which people I think are the best in terms of the overall for their group and just who can really help you out. There's even some some really good sleepers in this, I think, in terms of the draft promo. But if you guys haven't seen any of the videos that I've uploaded earlier today, make sure you guys go check them out, as well as the six videos that I uploaded yesterday was definitely a crazy day for the draft. And also let me know down below, did your team draft who you wanted and who did your team get? So starting off, we're going to take a look at 95 Rashad Penny, the newest Seahawk. As you guys can see, he's honestly for 90,000 coins. This is a really, really good card. You compare him to LaDainian Tomlinson, 95 speed, 97 agility with a 97 excel. He is extremely fast, same speed as 98 LaDainian Tomlinson for 90k. Also, he doesn't have never stumble or energize or anything like that, but he does have move the sticks times two and go deep chem. 95 carrying, only one that's carrying. 91 spin, 93 elusiveness, almost as good trucking as 78 in a 92 juke move. Now he has a 70 strength, he also has a 78 catching. Take a look at his other stats, he's a 76 stiff arm, which honestly you can't really expect much out of that. But he has a 77 round running, 74 catching traffic, and he has a stamina of, I think I already passed it, 94. So he's definitely a very solid card with move the six times two and go deep, like a very, very good budget LaDainian Thompson. Here is another very good budget guy, 95 Billy Price for 98k. Take a look at him compared to David Andrews. Now, David Andrews is supposed to be, like, an absolutely goonish card. So, they both have these same chemistries with Pound the Rock times 2 and Go Deep. But, Billy Price is actually more salary cap than David Andrews. And he's won this overall. He has 94 strength, 4 more strength, only 2 less run block. But he has 1 more pass block and 1 more impact, 1 less awareness. But he has 5 more stamina seven less speed but nine more agility the card is freaking good acceleration of 83 as well you compare these two and i think you may have just found yourself a new center to replace david andrews with now in terms of the wide receivers there really are not any wide receivers taken i think it's just calvin really and dj Moore in the first round so if you're gonna go between one of those two i'm definitely choosing dj Moore. now if we compare him to des bryant you guys can see 95 speed 88 catching, 93 elusiveness, 96 spectacular catch, 95 release, 90 raw running, 93 catch traffic, and a 96 jumping. He also has a 96 acceleration, so I'm not saying he's as good as Dez, but he's definitely not a very bad card, and for only 140k, he's definitely pretty good if you're a Panthers fan. Next up, we have the 96 to 97 overalls, and I'm going to start off with the Saints pick, which they gave up a boatload of picks to trade up to grab to just be able to get this guy marcus davenport comparing to two tall jones obviously it's a 96 and 99 but comparing to demarcus lawrence and you're looking at a copycat right here 86 speed so he's actually two speed faster 89 strength that's pretty good for him demarcus lawrence only is an 84 excel of an 89 so he's not as you know quick with the burst but 94 tackle 95 block shed and a 95 power move with an 89 finesse move and also a 96 player. Now he also has toughness, which will boost his strength. And if you have tier five, give him another speed. I gotta say this card is looking pretty dang good. I'm not really too sure how the chemistry or the salary cap isn't as high on him because in my opinion, I would almost say he's better. It really just depends on what uh, chemistry you have for Demarcus Lawrence. It's a person that I've react so he does get his power move up. We can take a look at his other stats. He has a 44 catching, which definitely is not very good. But he has an 84 jumping, he's 6 foot 7, so that's definitely amazing. 91 impact block, he also has a zone coverage of a 62 and an 88 stamina, which is actually higher than Demarcus Lawrence. So I gotta say, I like this card quite a bit, 88 hit power as well. I think the Saints may have gotten themselves a stud. 
Next up, we have a strong safety in Derwin James. Now, you compare it to Ken Houston, of course, it's Ken Houston. But 93 speed with 96 acceleration, 94 play rate, 83 tackle, 84 man coverage with a 93 zone, which is the same as 91, 95 pursuit, but the man lays the boom. 95 hit power with an 82 strength, a 79 catching. He also is six foot three with a 94 jumping, and he has a block shed of a 79, which is 10 more than Ken Houston. So in terms of playing the run, coming down lane, a big hit, he's actually way better than Ken Houston. Another safety that I'm really impressed with is Minka Fitzpatrick. Take a look at him compared to Steve Atwater. You guys can see the same speed. He has a one less excel, the same play rec, less tackling by 11, but he has three more man and two more zone coverage with an 88 pursuit and also a 94 hit power. Now, he also has a 76 catching, which is two more than Steve Atwater, a jumping of a 91, which is two less than Steve. But we'll take a look at the block shed, 66 to an 80, so he's not as good in terms of block shedding, 89 stamina. But overall, I think he's a pretty decent safety. I think that Derwin James is obviously the better one. But Minka Fitzpatrick, pretty good, especially with the chemistries of Reading React and also blanket coverage. Now we have Tremaine Edmonds, which if you take a look at him compared to Ryan Shazier, this is really like a great card if you don't even use your, your middle linebacker he may even be worth it now he doesn't have 91 zone so you're probably best off to try and use him but compare it to shazier the first thing you should notice is the 91 speed compared to 93 it's two less but still 91 speed is extremely good and also he's six foot five compared to Ryan Chazier's six foot one. So he's four more inches on him, which is definitely huge when you're using somebody. 93 awareness, a 97 tackle with a 93 play rec, also a 95 block shed, 98 pursuit, 87 zone. But once again, if you're using him, it really doesn't matter what his zone coverage is. 93 hit power, but he has an excel of a 94, so he is one more excel faster than him. Catching of a 66, which obviously doesn't compare to Shazier's 84, but he also has a jumping of an 88 and a stamina of a 92. So he's very, very comparable to Ryan Shazier. If you want to have, say you have tier 5 of Ring React and you have Shazier up to 91 zone, maybe just having Shazier out there and using Tremaine Edmonds. That might just be the move. Physical front times too, and also blanket coverage. We can get his block shit up to 99 if you add that to tier 5. That's crazy good if you ask me. Now, I got to say, in terms of just the throwing stats in these QBs, if you just want a sit in the pocket and launch some bombs, Josh Rosen is your guy. I mean, comparing to Drew Brees, 95 throw power with a 96 throw short, 96 medium, and a 94 throw deep. Now, he also has moved the stick scan, which I believe boosts up his throw short and medium, if I'm correct. Maybe it's just the throw short, but I do know that he would have more short than Drew Brees, or they both have 99 if you have them cam down anyway. So, in reality, he is a better thrower than Drew Brees. Only a 68 speed, which is a little bit less, but a 97 awareness, a 96 play action, and a 84 throw on the run. He also has a 78 excel, a 68 strength, which is a little bit better than Breezy. Six foot four, so you might not hit your off to line in the back of the head, which I actually sometimes do with Breeze because he's so dang short. And a 97 stamina. So I honestly love this Josh Rosen card in terms of the quarterbacks. Now, if you just want a guy to go out there and absolutely kill it on the field and not be usered, Raquan Smith is an absolute god. Take a look at him. 89 speed, 97 awareness, 94 tackle, 97 play rec, 95 block shed, 97 pursuit, 90 zone, and a 96 hit power. Also has a 90 excel, an 88 strength, a 72 catching, has a jumping in 83, 6 foot 1. He also has a man coverage in 82 and a stamina of an 88. You compare him to Luke Keekley, and with the Reading React times 2, of course, he'll get to 91 zone and also toughness camps. So you need another speed, up to 90 speed on this guy, and he's an absolute killer out on the field. Now, honestly, when it comes to these 98 to 99s, they're all absolutely freaking amazing. But when it comes to the quarterbacks, Baker Mayfield may just be the best one. You compare him to Drew Brees, of course, he's a 99 overall, but you see the throwing stats compared to Brees has the same exact stats, except for the throw deep, which is better. 
Play action isn't as good, but he has way better throw on the run, and he's way faster with just one less awareness, which with go deep, if you had that tier, let's say five, like I do, plus four throw deep, means that he's going to get plus four to his deep accuracy, and he's gonna have 99 throw power with 96 throw deep. Plus, he also has moved the six times too, which I think means you can get him up to like 96 throw deep, and 99 throw short, I'm not sure about the medium, maybe if that affects the medium as well, then you'll get that up at 81 speed with an 85 acceleration and a 71 carrying. Baker Mayfield's card is legit. We also have Sam Darnold, which I think is another great quarterback option if you're looking to throw the ball short or medium. I mean, he has to go deep, so he doesn't have to move the sticks, but really, do you need to move the sticks when he has 98 short already? You really don't. Sam Darnold's card, again, just really glitchy. Denzel Ward, kind of like Deion Sanders-ish with 97 speed, 97 excel, 98 man, 94 zone, 97 press. We can take a look at his block shedding, which I don't think is the absolute best. Kind of more like Deion Sanders. 79 actually is actually really good, okay? And he also has a hit power of a 78. And then, of course, we have Saquon Barkley, who has 95 speed with a 96 acceleration. You compare him to Ladainian Thomas, and you guys can see he is a goon. 94 trucking, 97 juke move, 96 excel, 96 carrying. He is definitely better than the Danian Tomlinson. Also a 79 strength and a catching of an 84. The card is crazy. All these 98 to 99s are really, really good. Even Bradley Chubb, I mean, you compare Bradley Chubb to Jason Taylor, he kills him in everything except for finesse and speed. But the only reason I'm keeping Jason Taylor is because secure tackler. That thing will be on my team for a very long time just because it's secure tackling until we get a new right end with ST. But you guys can see the 94 block shit, 96 power move, 93 excel, 97 strength. All of these 98 to 99s are obviously the best choices. Obviously, they're freaking amazing cards, all of them. But in terms of the other ones, I hope this video did help you out in pinpointing exactly who you wanted in terms of the 96 to 97s and the 95 overalls, of course, with the 98 to 99s. Any of them are really good, but of course, they're all really, really expensive, including, you know, Baker, who's 450k, surprisingly, is the cheapest one. But we do have Khalil Mack and all these guys, but they, I'm not going to go over those because they do not count in terms of the draft players themselves, those are the draft masters, which I already have a video on that if you guys want to figure out which draft master you guys should go with. But if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment, and let me know down below who did your team draft, and also if you guys have been picking up some draft players. Which draft players did you pick up? Kind of curious to know. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.